Hi guys, I'm Megan. And I'm Abby. And welcome to Our Safe Space. It's finally here. She's finally here. She's finally here. We are finally doing our episode on Euphoria. Yeah, the Euphoria special. The Euphoria our special. Euphoria special, if you will. Oh, yeah, I guess. Do we have to worry about like copyright with this? <laughs> I don't think so. We're just talking about it. We're just talking okay. About we're it. just talking. We're conversating. We're conversating. Um, yes, but today we are talking about Euphoria. We're gonna get into some some fun little mm-hmm. topics. We're also gonna talk about the season finale. So spoiler, oh. spoiler alert. alert. Do not um, listen to this podcast if you have not watched the episode yet. <laughs> yes, go watch the episode if you haven't, because you know what? I w- we wouldn't be the first ones to spoil it. Like it's yeah, probably all every, over TikTok. Literally, everyone's been spoiling it. I feel yeah, bad for people who haven't watched so it. So literally, just just get it together. Just get it together. Spoiler alert: Do not listen to this if you have not watched it yet. Um, okay. Meg and I watched it last night. We're we pre-recording did. this. We are on Monday. Yes, and we have not talked about it yet. We have not. We held off. We said, we're not going to talk about it until the podcast. And yeah, now we're sitting like very close together <laughs> um, on Abby's bed, not even mine. Yeah, we and switched up the location today. We did. And um, it just feels like it's a special, intimate moment. It is. It's really special. It is. But before we oh, get into that, oh, sorry, okay. I just wanted to interrupt that. Are you yelling? Um, we are going to say our high and low lights yes. for the week. Abigail, Woo! take it away. I feel like we need, like, the buttons, like, Freddie and iCarly. Yeah. When he, like, does, like, Random dancing! dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we definitely need that. Okay, okay, what was your highlight? Back to the highs and lows. Oh, Or high. bad news first. Give us the Bad news first. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Why are you putting a spotlight on me? Um, what's bad that happened this week? Or just figure something um, good. I just figured we'd end oh, good Oh, I'm tired. That's what's bad about oh? this week is I'm really tired. Mm. And this morning I drove back to school and now I'm exhausted. Um, so yeah. that's a low. I'm a little exhausted. Mm-hmm. Um, a high is I had fun this weekend celebrating Camila's birthday. Woo! So that was a high. Insert yes. like clapping. Yes. Clapping. clapping noise. <laughs> Shout out to Camilo. Shout out. Happy 23. I was going to say 22. 22 but... when you're 23. Okay. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> it turns into a breakup episode. Uh, anyways, um, okay, my low light for the week. I feel like you, there were some things. <laughs> the way you're like sitting here right now. Oh, sorry. not your messages. Sorry, being I'm on. So sorry, sorry, everyone. I but do not disturb. Their on. eardrums were just ruptured. <laughs> um, low light. You're right. This is kind of tough. But I know that there's definitely been low lights. Uh. <laughs> There's been some highs and some real lows. Hello. Um, I guess a low light would be that I procrastinated yet again. Oof. So after this yeah. episode, I have to do <laughs> like five assignments, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm just Is it? choosing not to think about it until like 8 p.m. Then I'll get on it. Uh, that's the move. Yeah, Abby always bullies me, but I I don't start homework till then, and then I like. I, I don't bully you because I'm sure. She bullies a, I, me. No, I'm sure a lot of people our age do homework at night. Fair. Like I think you're normal. I think I'm weird for like doing it in the middle of the day. See, I'd rather not do it at night, but that's the only time I have the motivation to actually do it. <laughs> okay, okay, fair and enough. Maybe that's fair why enough. my sleep is horrible. But uh, Dennis, back on track. Sorry. Oh. I just need to shout out oh. Dennis in every single oh. episode. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's only our third episode, and you've mentioned him. I mentioned him every every single episode. 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 Um, <laughs> highlight was I saw my family this weekend. <laughs> Woo! Uh, mostly Brian, <laughs> Brian Bischoff, uh, my little Bischoff brother. Family. What a king! Shout out saw to his Brian. play. He was doing the oh, lights yeah, in the I've play. Heard about that. Yeah, he's just a little superstar. It's Brian's world, and we're just living yes. in it. Woo! <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess that's it for high and low lights. That's it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh. oh wait, should I? You should. should okay, okay, so so our next little segment is what we like to call We Want Ice Drink to Sponsor <laughs> Us. So we're going to do a little ASMR for you, okay, Ice okay, Drink. Ready? Please sponsor us. I wonder us. if this is going to come out good. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that was such, that a was such an anticlimactic... Uh, <laughs> that was- usually they kind of like... Usually it's loud. Um, I'll just make the noise. 
Wow, thank you, Ice Trace. If you couldn't tell, that was the sound of me opening the lemon lime ice train. Sparkling ice. Um, but it was really anticlimactic. Yeah. Wow, that one's not good. I guess we shouldn't do ASMR ever. Um, yeah, maybe not. But Abby, how many ice drinks do you drink in a week? Why are you calling me out? I don't know. I'm just... Okay. I'm trying to get this sponsorship. To be honest, I usually drink one ice drink a day (laughs) yeah same here (laughs) one a day sometimes i ration them and i drink like half of one i've seen this one day and then half the (laughs) next day (laughs) megan really tries to ration it because she doesn't even drink it straight from the bottle straight from the teat Uh, yes you're (laughs) right she will pour it into a cup i will like a maniac i am a maniac if you drink ice drink you know you have to drink it on tap from the fridge from, oh, from the fridge. Yes. Rookie mistake, do not drink ice drinks room temperature. Yeah. Nope. They should be refrigerated at all nope. times. Yep. Um, it doesn't say it on the bottle, but we're saying it It does it say here. it on the bottle. Oh, it does? Wait, wait. Yeah, it literally says it on the bottle. Oh. It says, refrigerate after opening, as in life, chill for best results. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, ice drink. Okay, but anyways, see. there's that little, uh... There's our shout our out. Our little shout out. Please sponsor us. Please. Anyways. Please. <laughs> um, anyways... Now into the nitty gritty. Okay. Again, this is spoiler s- alert. This is your last spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. If you have not watched the episode, first of all, kind of confused because at this point when this is dropping, it will have almost been a week. Yeah. So what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, um, that's a fair point. A fair I'm point. looking at your bullet points. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is very much, <laughs> this I is, made the notes for this episode, yeah. so they're a little chaotic. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Um, so I feel like. Let's go through. Again, spoiler alert. Please. Click off if you have not watched it, because we're about to talk about some shit. Okay. Rip ashtray. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you had <laughs> fair warning out. that you had spoiler alert. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Ash, I... <sighs> so you know how, as like a collective, we all agreed we wouldn't watch the next season if Fez or Ash died? Mm-hmm. And then they... Well... And then they killed him off. And then... Like, Fez is not alive. No, Fez is alive. There's he was bleeding no, out. No, 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 no. Fez is definitely alive. I hope so. No, because with him, Ash literally shot him. But then, like, yeah, he was bleeding out. But I think that they're gonna like patch him up and he's gonna be fine. Because they even like he's put the really handcuffs depressed. on him. But Ash, well, technically, a lot of people are like, is Ash dead? Because we didn't see his body. But like, you like heard the bullet. Dude, did and you want to see thumb. his body? So he's definitely I'm sorry. Dead. Are people out here saying that they want to see Ash's no, dead don't. body for evidence? Okay. I just have so many thoughts on this episode though. Ash dying is so depressing, but uh-huh. also why the hell did they make him so chaotic? He was very chaotic. Right? Like why what why did he just murder? I don't even remember that guy's name. Sorry. Uh, Do you yeah, remember his name? I, don't I don't remember his name. Unimportant. The guy who came as a freaking narc. Yeah. He literally stabbed him in his he junk did. killer. And he knew that something was up too. And yeah, like Yeah, he did. Oh, I just like I'm not gonna blame Ashtray, but I'm just saying Ash mm, Ash, you knew something yeah. was fishy mm, there. Yeah. Oh, uh, I love you, baby, but I know that's mm. what irks me so much about it is it's like I'm so mad he's dead and I'm never gonna blame Ash for that but yeah. also why the fuck did he first kill the guy and then second why did he get loaded up with guns <laughs> he really and did. shooting? Fez was like what, what are you doing get the that hell so out of here. Dumb. I yeah. feel like if I were him either A listen to Fez and run away yeah because Fez was about to take the fall for him or B like take the fall yourself like yes. why did you lock yourself in the bathroom and shoot through the door. That was oh my god! In the scene where he pretends to be dead, but then he gets up yes! and he has a shotgun. I'm like, oh my god! Like, what did you think? You literally shot the the cop or whatever yeah. you call them, the freaking like SWAT team. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. That, that was. It was. I mean, this whole episode was chaotic, but that was like depressing and chaotic. That was frustrating to watch. Yeah. And then, what? This is no Delexi. No! <laughs> Not to Lexi. Just then like with blood on stop. it. Stop. No, it was when like Ash killed the guy and then Fez like goes mm. and like leans over the sink and then he has that flashback about his talks with Lexi. I'm so mad. I'm so freaking mad. So my predictions uh. for them are like I think like Ash is just dead and then I think they're gonna like start next season with like Fez obviously in prison. Yeah. And then I think that's what they're trying to segue into. 
I guess. I don't know. But, okay. So, we had... That was pretty intense. That was but intense. But perhaps my favorite part of the episode... What? Was the Cassie and Maddie... Showdown? Showdown. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, here's the thing. Okay. That was also my favorite part. But I'm kind of agreeing with the internet. A lot of people are saying, like, why do they keep, like, cutting the fight with Cassie and Maddie? Because you see them, like, run out and Maddie, like, hits her, but then they cut it. And then they just cut straight to when they're in the bathroom. And then Maddie makes that comment, like, this is just the beginning. Yeah. So a lot of people are angry because they're like, why do they keep, like, not showing us, like, the core of, like, them fighting? Which I kind of agree with. I'm like, why? Like, we've waited this whole season and, like... That was a lot, don't get me wrong, with Cassie Mm -hmm. going on stage and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, all we got was, like, Maddie, like, slapping her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which was... I'm sorry. I, like... Laugh so hard. It was in that so moment. good. I was so like last night. I was in the apartment alone, and mm. if you could just like hear, like I was just shouting in my room, like yeah, <laughs> like Cassie. First of all, mm-hmm. just ruined Lexi's moment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh-huh. made it all about her Worst sister. Award. And then their mom comes up and she's the like, mom is the best. I like kind of love her. I love. I think the she's mom. like one of my I favorite side mom. characters. Um, um, but Cassie's really just not doing herself any justice no, ever. Oh, the carousel not. scene brought back The up. carousel scene! She was like, ah! I literally was like, no. no. The secondhand embarrassment again. Dude, I don't, okay, I don't know. I'm kind of mad about what they did with Cassie's character this season. Yeah. Because I feel like last season, she was chaotic, but she was, like, still, like, lovable. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to see her become a boss-ass bitch. Same. Because I'm kind of confused, because at the end of last season, like, she broke things off with McKay. Like, it yeah. seemed like she was, like, doing better. And then I feel like this season, her literal only purpose was, like, a scapegoat mm-hmm. to, like, make her, like, the villain. Which, like, I get, but I'm also, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I get what they were trying to do, but I'm a little, like, meh. Yeah, I'm okay with hating all the men on this show, but I don't want to hate a woman. Yes, which I feel like this season was very, like, all right, let's hate all the freaking women now, especially with the whole, like, cat storyline, which is a whole nother thing. Oh, yeah. With, what's his face, Sam, I don't even remember. Sam Levinson? Levinson? Levinson, I think. Levinson? That is a whole nother thing, where, like, apparently he, like, cut her scenes out, and it irks me how, like, she's also a villain, and she pulled that dumb shit on Ethan. Oh, my God. Can we, like... Just side note on Kat. That was so... <laughs> Embarrassing. And the, and then Ethan, like, just went off mm-hmm. in the play. Bro, he literally popped He put up. his whole entire... We love Ethan. Yeah, no, he... I think, like, Ethan has become... Like, Ethan as the no, mom. Like, so Ethan good. as yes, the mom. <laughs> she was like, Ethan, you did so great. I know. <laughs> no, um, you're so good. But yeah, obviously, Cassie's just making it worse. But Maddie, when Maddie was like, oh... I am done with this. Yes, okay, Maddie, though, this season, Maddie, <laughs> Maddie popped off. Yeah. Like, that, like, I feel like out of the girls, mm-hmm. truthfully, I feel like Maddie was, like, the only one who had, like, character development, and Lexi, yes. I would say. And Agreed. then, like, Rue, at the end, obviously, okay, yeah. had character development, because now, like, we know she's But, like, Rue's, stuff. like, the main character. But she's the main character. Yeah. So, besides Rue, I feel like Maddie and Lexi were the only ones that had, like, character yeah. development. Yeah, it... Yeah, still kind of pissed off about the cat thing, too, because I feel like mm-hmm. her character had so much potential. Yeah, no. And they really focused on her season one, and then it was yep. just kind of like, mm-hmm. oh, she's just there. It's like, literally, like, out the window. Yeah, that was annoying. Yeah. Um, um, next thing is, oh, Lexi and Rue. Like, I love how their friendship is, like, oh, coming back. Okay, I, I love Lexi and Rue, too. Yeah. No, I do really love their friendship. Lexi and Rue over Rue and Jules. Sorry. Oh, not the end when Jules comes up to Rue and she's like, I'm sorry. I love you. And then Rue just kisses her on the head and, like, leaves. I'm like, what? But also, I feel like after that happened, like, my take on that was I feel like Rue is at a good point right now where she Mm -hmm. knows that Jules toxic. Yes. And she's like... She's like, I respect you, I love you, but, like, I'm gonna need, like, my space right now. Oh, yeah. So, I respect that. Just, like, with, like, Elliot, which... Stop! <laughs> that was... That had to be, like, the <laughs> top moment on, like, the funniest moment of this episode. 
<laughs> it was so funny. I was just sitting there, and this song was still going. I was just like, oh, I started dissociating rapping. at one point. <laughs> yeah. I like checked out, and then yeah. I like came to, and I was like, he's still singing, because it was like the initial like, oh my god, he's gonna sing, and then it was right? like, we're still. Singing. I thought it was gonna be like a little like ten seconds. Yeah, thing. And it was then like it was three verses. Song. They really said, listen. Like, we know, Dominic Pike, <laughs> that girls are popping their pussy for you, so we need you to sing for us. Yes. And literally everyone was like, what? Why <laughs> Why was he singing for so long? I mean, like, love you, but also... But what was that song even about? Also, we could have had, with those seconds wasted on those, that song, literally, we could have had yeah. the Maddie and Cassie fight scene. That, that is what everyone's been saying, which yeah. I'm like, I agree. Like, I didn't mind the song, but I was like, why did it go on for so long? Yeah, no, agreed. And then he, like, he, like, finished it. Like, it's funny because he finishes the song and he's like, yeah, I haven't really finished it yet, though. And I'm like, you just sang for, like, four minutes. It's not finished? Oh, and then Rouge is sitting there like. Yeah, she's like, like, I know. Girly, you don't have to I'm like, Girl, cry fake tears. I know. But I will say. Minus him singing for, like, a super long time, and minus the fact that he's still kind of, like, problematic and people don't like him, Mm -hmm. I feel like it was a good full circle moment from, like, the first episode, like, the big peak of that is, like, her meeting him and them doing drugs together, Mm -hmm. so I feel like it was a good, like, full circle moment. Um, No, it was, and I think he was kind of, like, an easier, like, goodbye than, like, Jules, which, listen, Mm -hmm. listen... Listen. I support a complete separation from Jules. I agree. She is toxic for Rue. Mm -hmm. Rue deserves so much better. She does. And, like, I don't know. Because I like Jules by herself. Yes. She has so much growing to do that, like, I just can't watch whenever there's, like, scenes with her and Rue. Because I'm like, oh, my God, this is a disaster. Yeah, no. Yeah, Jules, like, on her own. Like, Mm -hmm. in the beginning of season one when they, like, weren't together, I was like, oh, my God, I really like her. Yeah, she's And then it was like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, that was so yeah. Really annoying. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah. Oh, we need to talk about Cal. <gasps> the fact that oh, Nate finally yeah. like got his dad freaking put away. Yeah, I thought Man. he was literally going there to kill him. Me too. They made it seem like yeah. that. I don't know why he like loaded a gun. I was like, okay, relax. Well, at first I thought he was going to kill Fez, and oh, then interesting because place. I saw him like driving there and I was like wouldn't it be funny yeah. if like he drove to Fez's place and Stop. it wasn't the cops I mean it wouldn't be funny mm-hmm. but when the cops were banging for a second I was like what if it's um what's the crazy drug dealer lady's name oh I was like what if it's her and yeah what I her? was getting, I was getting worried about that I don't know we never which that's money. another thing where I feel like season two started off really good Mm -hmm. and then I feel like they dragged out the plot Mm -hmm. and what I'm kind of feeling from it is that like they want to make sure they have plots to like follow in season three so it's feeling like they dragged out that whole thing with her so that they can still have that in season three you get what I'm saying yeah no yeah I think the season was good I just feel like so yeah you're right certain Mm -hmm. plots it was like the maddie cassie thing it was just so dragged out yeah no yeah (laughs) okay so yeah cal (sighs) yeah that was a lot that was was a lot i i don't even know i feel like i feel like that's like I don't know, I guess that's all that really happened with them, but that was just, like, what the hell? I mean, I am glad that Nate only had, like, a couple minutes in this episode. I know, he's, oh, my, yeah. bottom tier. He, yeah, he got so much, uh, camera time this, uh, I know. This season. He did not deserve it. No, yeah, but, yeah, and I, like, another thing people have been saying is that, which I kind of agree, this mm-hmm. season feels like it's, like, a collection of, like, music videos. Yeah. So it definitely feels like what they, like, wanted to go for was more of, like, an artsy vibe. Like, it felt like they wanted this to be, like, taken seriously. So they were like, Mm. we're going to make this cinematic. But I feel like that translated to, like, poor writing sometimes and poor plot development because, like, the way it was filmed and everything was, like, beautiful. Like, the shots were cool. But I was, like, sometimes the plots, I was just, like, what? Like, that, like, the season finale did not need to be dragged out in two episodes. No. It really No, it definitely could have, like, last episode... I don't know. Definitely could have been wrapped up. Mm-hmm. Like, I felt like I watched episode seven. Yeah. Yeah. That was the one. And That's I was awesome. just like, oh, okay, like, that was cute, but mm-hmm. not as, like, a almost the end of the season cute. Yeah. It felt like a waste. And I don't know if you felt this way, but I feel like the, like, two-part season finale, I was confused. Yeah. Like, the way they were, like, chopping in, like, past, like, flashbacks and then, yeah. like, 
the play, I was like so freaking confused. I was like, what are they trying to say? And I've heard a lot of people say, if I have to hear like Rue give the speech at the oh funeral my God, one yeah. more damn time, I was like, yeah, they keep freaking showing. No, I know. That clip of her like saying that like she just needs to close her eyes to see her dad again. Yeah, I was like, 5, that's a little times. too much. That's a little too much. I know. Every time I hear that too, I'm like, this is too much. No, no, no. no. and it, literally they like followed up like ashtray dying with yeah. that so that was like the one part of the episode i was like crying i was like no, that I was can't intense do this. that was intense like still a very good show great acting yeah but just like a little chaotic a little chaotic yeah i feel like it's still a really good show and it has a lot of potential i feel like maybe part of the problem is it was super hyped up yeah um definitely for this season too because mm-hmm. last season came out and like not that many people were watching it mm-hmm. but then like within the past like three years it's yeah. been like in a hiatus everyone caught up so this season was like so like hyped up um yeah also just like the like the actors themselves having like different like issues i feel mm-hmm. like that definitely affected yep. the season yeah for sure yeah um, that was a little messy um because <laughs> it was zendaya and jacob jacob Lurie. yeah I his last name yeah they, they used to dated. date and then then now obviously they're broken up and yeah. jules has like yeah. beef with hunter schaefer or whatever yeah hunter schaefer yeah um yeah she has like beef with him i think i don't know there's a lot of beef with like everyone so yeah i feel like what's his face sam levin levinson he just needs to get a freaking writer's room and True. i feel like all would be solved because i was talking to camilo about this i was like for some shows, sure, you can have one writer and it'll do great. But this show is, like, a show that deals with, like, such, like, heavy topics and, yeah. like, sensitive content. Like, you need a writer's room. And there's so many like, characters, yeah. There's so many characters and it's sensitive, like, stuff. So, like, why? Like, get a writer's room, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But, but that pretty much wraps up our little... Yeah, that's, like, the whole recap, I can yeah. think of, of the season finale. Yeah, I feel like we're forgetting something. Oh, I wanted to shout out my girl, Faye. <laughs> Faye, dude! Faye actually came around. When she dropped that glass, yeah. and she was like, Shh. I was like, yes, okay. I knew she'd pull through. I knew she would pull through. And then people were, like, worried that she's going to steal Fez from Lexi. That's not even a possibility. Yeah, no. I was like, what? Faye's just, like, there for, like, the vibes. Yeah. Um, but that was probably, like, one of my favorite moments. I agree. She was like, it was that crazy lady that yeah. killed him. That's that's another part mm. that frustrated me so much about Ash killing the guy because yeah. they were on such a good roll, like setting up the blame mm-hmm. for Lori. That's her name. Yeah, Lori. They were on such a good like roll, and then literally Ash just freaking stabbed him, and I was like, oh my oh. god. <laughs> and it was like it wasn't like Ash, like not to say that stabbing someone in the neck mm-hmm. won't get the job done. Yeah, but like I don't know. You could have, like, stabbed him in the leg I or know, something. I know, yeah. Like, if you thought he was sus, like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. We're, it's okay. we're putting okay. that behind us. It's okay. Rest in peace, Ash. We love you. We love you. Um, okay. So now, for the main event. Um, yes. We are getting into our little side fun topics. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first, kind of, like, on our Instagram, which is meg.abby.wellness. Uh, yes. for all our for all our listeners um we did like a poll yes we did and some questions and we asked you guys like different like superlatives uh so we're definitely gonna mm-hmm. do that and then we're gonna do zodiac signs and then <laughs> if we can attachment styles and then tier a tier list i was just like, <laughs> sorting all the characters i was just recording okay, something yeah. that we would do normally but we're like let's do it for the crowd yeah so meg posted on our instagram if mm-hmm. you don't follow our instagram we still have yet to shout out our instagram i just in the did pod. did you say the user yeah, at oh, okay, okay. Abby's out wellness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Abby's tired, guys. So, no, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, I did say that in the beginning you of the episode. say that to low I'm light. tired. Anyways, so Meg posted the polls. Yes. yes. Clapping. Yay. Um, so we're going to read the results of the polls. Yes. So, take it away. Oh. Say the first one. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yes, hello. Uh, best <laughs> dressed. So, when I originally wrote this, it was Maddie in the lead. Okay, okay. We... Tell, why don't we say what we think and then we'll give what the consensus. <gasps> True. Okay, but. so the options for best dressed were, I tried to make it like a, a good little option thing. Uh, Maddie, Jules, mm-hmm. Case, Casey. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> She's that irrelevant. She really <laughs> Sorry, Cassie. Casey, I think. Cassie <laughs> um, and Lexi. So I, I put Maddie. Okay. But Lexi is 
so very well dressed. Yes. So here's like and jewels. I Wait, think I think I put jewels. You did. I think mm-hmm. I voted Lexi, but only because I feel like this season she like had really cute outfits and yeah. it's stuff that like I feel like I would wear. Yeah. Like I think is like cute. Mm-hmm. Um, which I feel like is the basic bitch thing to say because I know we're all Lexi. Fair. Um, but truthfully in all i would say maddie just because she has such like iconic looks and she's just so yeah. like she's like the embodiment of like confidence so yeah. Mm-hmm. and yeah it was maddie maddie oh, by wow. maddie by a long run okay yeah yeah maddie yeah by a long run and then jules and lexi were tied for yeah. second okay so you got two votes Cassie last. we're not gonna expose um, anyone we're not gonna but... expose what you guys put po- oh Okay, we will expose someone. We're exposing someone. Camilo. Camilo. Why did you I feel like Cassie? he was just trying to be, like, different. I feel like he was trying to be different. He was like, I'm going to... Um, because I said no wrong answers, so he was like, he, 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 he. This is <laughs> no, wrong No, that answer. was probably a joke from him. I mean, Cassie's outfits were good, but she was also copying Maddie. I think that's why it's a yeah. joke from him. Because this whole season, he's been like, this is tripping me out. Because yeah. he's just dressed like Maddie. Literally. Um, okay, next one next was one. best shoulder to cry on. So our options are Fez, Lexi, Rue, and Kat. Yes. Um, Which I feel like this is probably going to be a... Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it's Fez. So, okay, yeah. That's who I thought would win. Mm-hmm. Fez. And then Lexi was second. And then Rue third. And Kat, then Kat got no, no vote. votes. Okay, in my defense, I put Kat in there. Because I do love Kat's character. No, I do feel like Kat would be, like, a good friend. And she... Well, because she's always listening to, like, Maddie's problems. Mm-hmm. Or just, like cassie and she's going through shit herself yeah so i was like okay cat's a good one but then with how she was framed this season of right. course nobody voted, nobody voted for, for her. her so who would you vote for i think i voted for fez yeah me too yeah but i, I do feel like fez and lexi are that power couple yes. where like people would go to them yeah to like, yeah it was, it was hard it was hard that's why i put them both yeah yeah, yeah. that's cute that's cute yes. okay the next one okay you go ahead you read this one off. okay the next poll we did was who would you share a deserted island <laughs> with and it was meant to be hard yes so like it's all like bad like bad quote options unquote. so to say so the options are cassie nate jules and Faye. yes so let's see oh jules oh my god okay okay, okay. that's she was the least problematic of all of those people yeah so it was jules <laughs> we're about to expose some people because what so jules was first yes Faye was second which i voted yes. Faye. Uh, yeah, yeah i voted Faye too okay and then nate was third yeah whose asses Who's... do we need to expose i'm sorry i'm sorry who voted nate why I'm, do i feel I'm like it's out. Com- i'm pulling what? it out wait did i answer <laughs> nate i did not mean to answer nate oh okay. my god expose. so take that expose. off take that off expose expose ian <laughs> You didn't even watch, so that's Eden, fair. why did you vote Nate? Eden said, I'm going to vote for this man. Oh, wow. Eden. We see where your true loyalties lie. We see where lie. your true loyalty lies. Um, um, wow, okay, okay. And then and then Cassie was last. Yeah, who Makes sense. Okay, yeah. Okay, wait, Cassie, Camila voted Faye. Okay, go off. Yes, thing. because Faye is the vibe, man. Faye is the vibe. Like, I feel like if I was on a deserted island with her, like, would she right? pull her weight? No. no. But, like, if there was, like, a wild, like, animal coming after me, she, I <laughs> she, feel like she would, like, right, wake me up right? yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah. I don't want her to die. She'd be like, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next poll. Next poll. Who? Oh. Who would you bury a body for? No, no, no. Like, oh, would, would bury, bury a, a body, body for, for you. you. Yes. Oh, okay. So, like, who's the most reliable? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, did okay, you okay, okay. did you read it as? No, I no. I think I read. Okay. It, I think I read it like that. I yeah. Think I'm just being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We also haven't had dinner, so we're a little it's we're a little like, crazy. Us being like, we, we haven't had dinner. dinner. It's like six o'clock. <laughs> um. Okay. So the um, options were oh. Maddie. Oh, there's okay, a tie. Okay. Okay. There's a tie. Read the options. Though. Maddie, Rue, Nate, and Cassie. Okay. So the tie for first place was. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me reading these results. Okay, the tie for first was Maddie and Rue. Yes. Which I could see I that. agree with both of them. But then Nate. Very, very close in second place was Nate. Okay. Who do we need to expose? Okay, but... But we, that could make sense, It though. makes sense. Because he's, like, crazy. No, he is crazy, and I feel like... Elmina! Oh my god, Elmina. Okay, maybe Elmina would. Maybe Elmina read it that way, though. Um, yeah, no. I feel like it makes sense, but... Also, I'd be a little scared that he would hold it as blackmail over me. Exactly. Like, he would bury the body, but he'd be yes. like, oh, uh, like, 
just if you do anything to wrong me, I right? will expose you. Yeah. So who would who would you vote for? I think I voted for Rue. Me too. Yeah. I feel like Rue would I voted definitely. Rue. Who voted for Cassie? I'm sorry. Who the hell voted for Cassie? There's, there's, oh, there's only. Well, we can't expose the. We're one not gonna person. expose the one person. We're just checking. We we're just checking. You. We're just stirring the pot. Oh my god. Yeah. That's my okay. Best <laughs> I feel like some people would want it to stir the pot too. Um, right. Okay, so that's our that's our little poll that's question. Our poll. Our, that was so fun. Our superlatives. Thank I tried to think of like quirky ones because I was like, no, okay. that was good. I was reading them and I was like, ooh, ooh okay, <laughs> okay. Now the main event. The, this is the Dun- main event. Dun- People are gonna be like, can these bitches <laughs> stop talking about zodiac signs? They're like, we're already at fifty minutes. Can you stop? Recording? No, I feel like th- this hasn't been that long. No, no, no. no. Um, <laughs> maybe it's been too long uh zodiac signs so woo, 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 as we woo. do best as um, we do best as we like to act as if we know things about astrology and zodiac signs we don't know we we don't know anything we are going to say what we think each character's zodiac sign would be yes which i've seen this going around a lot on tiktok so it's probably going to be similar to that mm-hmm. but we're just gonna say what we think and if you guys want to like drop in the comments what you think yes i'm curious yes yeah. No, I'm also curious because I feel like some of them are obvious, but then other ones we're going to have to think about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna let's start let's start with Rue. Our our main our main girl. Our main girly. Rue, we love you. Also, I feel like we should state too just because Megan and I have talked about this, mm-hmm. who our favorite characters are. Oh, true. So Fez, but like Fez is like untouchable. That's yeah. literally everyone's favorite character. But Megan and I both agree that like this is basic, but like Rue's our favorite. Yeah, Rue. Like I like Lexi too, but like, Rue yeah, yeah, yeah. is. I just Rue is my favorite. I don't know. I just love her. Yeah, I mean, like, and my not like problematic fave, but I also really this season, like we talked about, mm-hmm. Maddie. Maddie was Maddie good this has season. been really, really. She was good. good. Yeah. Oh, so there's a website that I oh, actually that looked it? up. Well, don't look at it because what if that, like, persuades what you think? Oh, true. Wait, you're right. Okay, I didn't look at it, everybody. Um, <laughs> you said, all right, never mind. I definitely did. Okay, so Rue, I think. Rue? I already know. <sighs> say it. Should I say it? Say it. Our Virgo queen. Yeah. She's a Virgo. She is a Virgo. She through is a Virgo. She's a Virgo. She is a Virgo. I agree. I is agree. Is it attaching OCD to being a Virgo? Oh. Maybe. Oh. But we're not saying that. Hey, what's your rising sign? Uh, maybe a Virgo. I don't know. I don't know. That's <laughs> I crazy. Don't know. I, don't know. I, I I can't speak. Um, okay. but yeah. So I feel like Rue Virgo. Yeah. I feel like everyone on the internet agrees with that. Yeah. Lexi. Lexi. Okay. I feel like Lexi gives me. I don't. I feel like definitely something with like water. You think? Or what were you thinking, like an Earth okay, sign? Okay, I'm thinking Capricorn. Oh wait, yeah, that actually does make right? sense. I feel like she gives me Capricorn vibes. She does. She. Or I was gonna say Libra. Okay, Libra yeah, or Capricorn. Libra or Capricorn. Sh- I could see. Shout her. out to all the Libras. Libras, like shout out to the Libras. little little Eden. You guys are probably the best zodiac uh, sign in my honestly, opinion. Honestly, I feel like yeah, yeah, Libras are the best. Yeah. Um, Fez. So then Fez. I'm not gonna lie, they give me similar vibes, so I'm almost, like, inclined to say, like, Capricorn for Fez, too, I could see. Well, I was a little spoiled, because that website I went on to, the first thing <laughs> said that Fez is an Aries. Aries? Oh, that's, like, officially their zodiac sign? Well, it just says Fez. From a, From fan's, a fan's point, point of, view, of view, it is clear to see Fez is a businessman. He'd rather focus on how much money he can make rather than following the mm, drama of his friends Okay, I could see Aries. Yeah, all right, so I feel like, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah. do you see, like, the Capricorn a little bit, too? Because I feel like him no, and I Lexi do. have that, like, I do. similarity. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely something in his big three. We're like, we're like, okay, we're like, all right, big, big three. That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> okay, Maddie, Maddie Scorpio, Scorpio, through and through. Scorpio. We love you all, Mina. She, <laughs> <laughs> you she's are also Scorpio. Scorpio. And I was going to say, she definitely has, like, Leo in her oh yeah in chart in the, um, she is leo in her chart yeah for sure. but cassie. Scorpio, cassie is a cancer i feel like cassie's through a pisces no i'm not hating on the Everyone, pisces no because you're gonna hear who i say is a pisces okay right okay. cassie's okay. a cancer through and through and that's not just me being a pisces saying that but she's ca- trying to gate cassie the pisces is community. definitely a cancer yeah cassie's a cancer i that makes yeah. sense that makes sense i think most of like the internet agrees she's a cancer but yeah. also i feel like is that just stereotypical to say like <sighs> the annoying the bitch with blue eyes yeah. who's like crying all the time is a cancer maybe oh am i speaking from experience oh as a pisces maybe 
Uh, anyways. Moving on. So, um, I feel like cancer. Nate? Nate. Um, Nate gives Taurus. Gemini. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 So, the next person <laughs> on the list is Elliot. And Elliot it very much Pisces. gives me... A Pisces. He's a Pisces man. He gives man. me Gemini vibes. No. He's very much like two-faced. Okay, 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 okay. I could see Gemini in... Gemini I and Pisces. See. Gemini and I Pisces. I think he's a Pisces. But Elliot? Okay. A Pisces man? Come on. A, okay. That's are you the saying, are you a saying, Pisces man. Are you saying that Elliot's a Pisces man or that yes. Dominic Fike is a Pisces man? No, I don't know what Dominic Fike is. Hold well, on. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Let's consult the internet. I have, let's consult my Chromebook. I think... Um, is he a Pisces? Uh, I don't know. Dominic Fike. When's his birthday? Oh, he's a Sagittarius. Okay, interesting. Okay. But okay. I, I don't know. The character of Elliot gives me strong Pisces male vibes, but I see the Gemini in the chart. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so Nate. Okay, I, know. I know that you want to put Gemini because Nate is crazy. Uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> to the This is not Gemini slander. My mother's a Gemini. I can say this. <laughs> I get, I get a pass. I get a pass. Uh, Nate? Okay, I see where you're saying Taurus. Yeah. I do. Get I feel those like vibes. Taurus. I feel like also. I don't. Scorpio, do we think? No. No. No, no, no. I, I see I see the Taurus. Maybe, yeah. I was going to say maybe. I don't know what else to put him as. I really think. I don't know. I just thought. Consult, consult the website now. So that yeah. was like. Oh, we didn't do Jules. Jules. Oh, Jules. Jules is an obvious Aquarius, though. Yeah. Everyone no, no, agrees no. on that. That is, that is, is clear as day. Else? Well, there's Cat, but. Cat? Cat gives me Leo. Cat gives me Leo vibes, yeah. too. I agree with that. Are we forgetting anyone now? I don't think so. I think that's everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's like the main squad. So, well, we're double, double checking ourselves. So, Fez, they say, is an Aries. Okay. This is just a random site. This is a random site. Uh, Jules? They say Jules a tour. Nobody no, knows that. No, no. Maybe we should. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should this do... is incorrect. Okay, so Gemini. it said Elliot was a Gemini, which I agree with. Cassie, Cassie Cancer. Cancer. Yeah. It says Cancer is the quintessential pick. Pick your sign. Oh, we, sorry to sorry our Cancer cancers out there. Okay, Maddie, Maddie a Leo. Leo. We said I Scorpio. Her, yeah, I see as a Scorpio no, with like a Leo rising. I yeah. don't know. Rude, definitely Virgo. Virgo. Lexi Libra. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. See I see it. Um, Nate Scorpio. Just like a Scorpio, oh. he gets away with the most deceptive things oh, and shit. no one even knows they happen. Oh my god. <laughs> he likes the idea of having a good reputation even though that it is obviously not fitting for him underneath the surface. Interesting. He is fearless and careless. Okay. Okay. I can see that. And then Kat Sagittarius. Sad. Okay. Okay. That she's makes sense. Ve- She has become very lively and social. Okay. Mc- oh oh not mckay not mckay he like wasn't in this he season, wasn't really so no oh ash ashtray rest in peace ash they say he's an ash. aquarius mm. uh, i think that's slander i feel like that's uh they're really know. just talking about the oh dead we forgot about ethan they said oh, ethan's ethan. a pisces ethan is a pi- no. i could see that a i could bit. see that well, I, oh, my yeah. thing is i, I feel ethan. like there's two different Pisces, the toxic ones and the oh. non-toxic ones. So that's why I feel like Elliot's one of the, like, toxic male Pisces. Um, just as a little side note here, if you couldn't already tell, Abby's a Pisces, but her boyfriend, Camilo, <laughs> is also a Pisces. Is he the toxic Pisces? I, no, 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 no. No. I don't know. I think we're, no, I think Abby's not. trying to he's stir not. the pot, he's Camilo. Not. That's why I'm saying there's two different male Pisces. I feel like there's, like, the chill ones. Like, if they're saying no, yeah, Pisces, I do chill. think... Um, uh, male Pisces were problematic, though, until you yeah. told me. Well, that's just, like, a big thing on the internet. Yeah. Because everyone says, w- we know. Which ones, Megan? Come on. Which ones are the most problematic? Wh- which, which male I will be signs? consulted. This is, I feel like I could mm-hmm. write a book on this. Pisces? Pisces. Aquarius. Aquarius. If you're an man, Aquarius man. Sorry. Sorry for you, but mm-hmm. also sorry for every girl you've ever talked to. <laughs> or anyone, Truthfully, for that matter. Um, that came from the heart. <laughs> Next, just a little next week. um and then our last one virgo virgo do get a lot of shit virgos do get a lot of shit um so yeah have i was, had personal experiences oh. with every one of those signs not pisces here i am oh but i'm not a man oh true so sorry yeah actually there's something i have to tell you oh are you in love with me um i'm in love with camilo oh <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine. I'm like uh no actually you're like actually no he's unproblematic um who knows? Maybe he's not. Oh, maybe he's not. We don't know the truth of that. We really don't. Honestly, though, 
has he even listened to any of these episodes? He really hasn't. Okay. So shout out to him because he's literally not listening Actually, to these. Actually, can you do like a, wow. a non-shout out? Like, don't even. We, what's his name? We revoke everything we've said about <laughs> you. Uh, okay, right. so Zodiac signs, done. Now. Complete. Attachment styles. Not the attachment this styles. This is going to be. Okay, so if you need a refresher on attachment styles. I feel like not everyone knows. <laughs> the atta- so you got to explain. I have to it. explain it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Abby and I are both really into psychology. Abby a major, <laughs> me a minor. We're just really into psych. So we're really into psych. <laughs> um, but so the attachment styles are secure attachment. So these people, they're living their best lives. They <laughs> are, they, ver- they had like a stable childhood. Because these are based off of like yeah, how yeah, you yeah. were kind of raised. Yep. Anxious ambivalent so i copied these so this would just be anxious attachment um yeah i don't okay yeah so i copied these so anxious so anxious attachments are very much close to home for me um but we're just like very much never i guess okay yeah basically just like anxious with your attachment styles where like you can never trust whether somebody's gonna be there Mm mm-hmm um, so sometimes that translates into being like clingy or mm-hmm. yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. And then we have avoidant, which is exactly how it sounds. Um, yeah. You avoid any sense of vulnerability, yeah, which, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> I feel like the spotlight's yeah, yeah, getting yeah, pointed yeah. at somebody here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to do those three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And not that. So, yeah. Oh, and also anxious avoidant. Well, a- yeah, but that's, that's like just like combo. combining two. That is. I feel like they're all going to go in like. No, Terrible. no. Lexi gives okay. me secure. Ooh. Lexi okay. gives me secure. No, she does. She has a lot of trauma, but she does. She does, give me but she's very much like she. No, she's I fine. feel like she gives me secure. She's chilling. Um, why do I feel like Fez also gives me secure? Yeah, Fez also gives me. He's secure. He's very secure. Vibes. I don't well, know. That's my mommy and daddy right there. Okay, I think they're both secure, but they can border on a little anxious. Okay, fair. Slightly anxious, but I think they're mostly like secure. No, I agree. Um, um, I don't know if anybody else fits into that secure I category. Think, yeah, that's why we're closing off the secure. Yeah, why do I feel like Ethan? Gone. We didn't really talk oh, about Ethan, but Ethan goes Ethan. in secure. Ethan goes in secure. He's like, he's literally like so healthy in the yeah. way he communicates. Uh, Ethan. We, we love, love Ethan. Ethan. Um, okay, so anxious. <laughs> anxious? Cassie. Cassie for sure. Is literally the top of that. Uh, Rue. Uh, see, Rue... Rue, I feel like, is one I would put under anxious avoidant. Like, yeah. I think she's both. Yeah, but I feel like more anxious. Because remember... Yeah, I think more anxious. When she was, like, madly in love with Jules. True, like, true, true, true. You're she wrong. She was you're so right, right, anxious. Right. Um, so then... Uh, I don't... Wait. Maybe Elliot, if we were... Could to Maddie go into Secure? No. Are you sure? Okay, I feel like Maddie last season, anxious. Maddie this season, Secure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's so do, we'll put her in put it for this season. So yeah. Maddie this season, very secure. secure. Um okay, anybody else for anxious? I think that's it. I would yeah. yeah. Uh avoidant. avoidant. We know who goes in there with we red know letters. Who goes there? Uh N A T E Nate. Nate definitely is. I feel like we're like making avoidant attachments out to be the villain. No. No, we're not doing that. No, 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 no. No, they're not the villains. They're not the villains. We all have different attachment styles. Yes. They're not the villains. Yes, 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 yes. But um, Nate is the villain, Nate, and he is a villain. Nate is definitely in there. Another person who's definitely in there, Kat. Yeah. She's the queen, literally, yeah. with the shit she dropped this season, Ooh, avoidant. Avoidant. Okay, anybody else? And then Jules. Jules is avoidant. Jules oh, getting Jules. on that train, oh, end of season one, oh, I forgot avoidant about that. attachment. Okay, so give so us a recap. That's give us a everyone. recap. So, recap. Insecure attachment. We have Lexi, Fez, Ethan, and Maddie. Super secure. Yep. Like, they, you're in a relationship with them. They good. know what they want. They and they will communicate with you. Yes. Anxious, we have Cassie, Rue, and Elliot. <laughs> very much. Very much. Very much. Clingy. Clingy. Um, also, scared you're going to leave. Yeah, never sure of how you feel. They don't communicate their feelings. Yes. And then avoidant, we have Nate, Kat, and Jules. Which makes sense. They makes avoid so much sense for them. the people that they are that they, in relationships yep, with. Yep, yep. Um, and they very much do not communicate. Well, it's one sided communication. And yep. uh, yeah, it is very much not in regards to the other person. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. Yeah. So yeah. So that that was that. That wraps so up attachment styles. We also have we can do tier lists. Mm hmm. 
right yeah okay yeah i feel like tier list everyone kind of agrees on but we can still like state our like faves we'll state our faves because you you kind of said it before but okay so let's we'll say, start like, bottom, bottom tier. tier bottom tier bottom tier bottom, bottom so f we have tier s a b c and f tier bottom tier nate Nate is, Nate is bottom. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Nate is like the absolute scum. Yes. Also, of the earth. I feel like not to say the word preface, but we should preface this with I think this should be our opinions end of like season two. Yeah. yeah. It's like end of season two. Yeah. Like we've watched the show since yeah. season one. Because um, some of them I feel like would have been a little higher or lower season one. But, but this yeah, this, this is, is at the end yeah, of season two. End of season two. Um, C tier Cassie. Oh, agree. The C is for Cassie. The C is for Cassie. So we're going we're going from the bottom up. So if you're not familiar, S would be like the ultimate, ultimate the peak. Yeah. A second best, B third best, C tier, uh, fourth best, and, and then, then F F tier bottom. bottom. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Cassie very much C tier. I agree. Because I, I want to like her, wrong. but I don't like her at all. Right. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like she should go in F tier <gasps> with Nate. Because I'm thinking about the rest but of these. But Nate screwed her over. I don't know. Okay. New option? <laughs> There's a bottom, bottom tier. Okay, okay. Nate goes on the bottom. Nate's, Nate's like, bot. I don't know. Just because I'm thinking about the next people and I'm like, I don't well, think I they deserve so many tiers. Tier. Okay, fine. Bye-bye. Okay, okay bye-bye, I think bye-bye. they, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Well, okay. Cassie is on C tier and then also on C tier, I feel like, like, I don't know. I've, uh, I feel like Kat. I feel like oh i feel like cat Kat was really annoying this season i'm she not gonna was. lie this season i think she deserves i loved her season one but this end of this season which is how we're doing the tier list yeah, i did not like her. it really irked me um okay, okay b tier b tier b tier let's just put the freaking duo together let's do it jules, jules and elliot, elliot. Let's put i feel together. like they should go on c tier i'm not even gonna that's lie. why i was like about to add more tiers but i think no, no. they don't deserve to go on the same tier as cassie yeah. and cat Okay, Jules and Elliot. Literally, um, like, the epitome of just, the epitome. like, B tier. Like, the they, epitome. you know, they're just some two-faced bitches sometimes. They really are. Okay, A tier, Rue. Rue, not S tier? Rue is, is my favorite bold? character, but S tier is too bold. Okay, okay, okay. True. Rue is And A. she did do some questionable things. She did. I love Rue, but sometimes, like, she really is out yeah, here annoying me. Because I'm like, Rue! I agree. I agree. Um, and then... Ethan. 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 A tier. A tier. Um, <sighs> and then... I feel like Maddie, for me, is between S and A. I feel like Maddie is S this season. Okay. I don't know if that's Fair just enough. me, but Fair I just feel like no, the energy she, that she gives off this season, she very much kept me watching. Yeah. Like, yeah, when yeah. Maddie's scenes would come on, I'd be like, oh, I am watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I agree. Um, Like, S tier, I'm kind of gauging by the fact of, like, oh my god, like, these were my most, I was most invested in these characters I this agree, season. yeah. And they had the most, like, character development. Yes. So, Maddie, S tier, top tier. Um, Lexi, obviously. Lexi, of course, our queen. And, she just, like... yeah. She did great. You know what I mean? She really, and she came into her own, and yeah. it sucks that, like, Cassie ruined it for her. Right. But, um, she really came into her own. And then, drumroll please. Okay. And then, top of S tier, our ultimate favorite character. Favorite character. He's everyone's favorite character. He's everybody's favorite. Fezco. Fezco. Fez, like, like everyone like even people that don't watch the show love fez like Literally my dad my dad i found out watched season one which oh, i'm really? like okay go off mark go off but then also he was like yeah fez is my favorite character and really? i was like okay okay because i just feel like he's just you can't he's just him. so lovable yeah. and i think it's also like angus cloud yeah to himself it's a fact that they found him on the streets and recruited him mm-hmm. and he's he literally is fez yeah so it's just like fez is just so amazing oh wait wait wait! we didn't rank ashtray or Faye either oh ash oh my god i can't i don't know i know I rest in peace this. Faye, i would put Faye. B- Faye is b tier b tier just because like we love her but like there's not like too much yeah to her and then, and then ash, ash is a tier yeah rest in peace rest in peace oh Rip. cow should we do cow one more side i character. feel like we can't even do a cow i feel like cow because i feel like that's so controversial it Yes. Yes, it is. It is. We're not it's a little anyone. controversial. It's a little controversial. It's a little controversial. Um, well, I want to also say next to Fez at the top of the S tier is Who? Lexi and Cassie's mother. Yes! She is S tier. I forget her name. I don't know. Like, let's look it up. Sue? 
I feel Did like I just it, make that up? I feel like, no, I feel like it was Su- Su- Lexi and Cassie. Mom. Mom. I feel like it's Sue, but maybe I just made that up. Uh, okay, can you just tell oh, me? Oh, Sue's. Yep. Sue's? Yeah. Yeah. Sue's. Sue's Howard. We queen. love her. She, she is our off. queen. She popped off. I know. I feel like last season I was like, this lady's crazy, but yeah. this season? This season? Popped off. She was just like, oh my god, Lexi. Like, she's finally like, appreciating Lexi. Oh, yeah. Wow. We love it. But, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. That's, um, that's that our episode for this we had week. Yeah. Planned. Yeah. On Euphoria, we did a little bit of everything. We did, uh, we did. tell us if you guys liked us doing like a themed episode yeah yeah yeah. because we i really liked it i, I feel liked like a theme episode i feel like we're trying to like go back and forth between like just fun themed episodes and also like episodes that have more of a topic like our yeah last one. yeah like more like wellness centered and then this is more like us just like you know having yeah. fun yep. talking about shows we've yeah. watched so what's our next episode um, our next episode is actually going to be Abby's birthday oh, episode. Oh, true. Yes. My is out. 20. You're not two. wrong. Yeah. So we'll plan fun stuff for that. That'll be kind of like another like fun one. Mm-hmm. And we've got some, we've got some guests starring on the podcast in the future. Yes. Coming up. We have a lot of people um, who want yeah. to star. Yeah. And so we want them on. We do. But yeah, let us know if you liked this themed episode or maybe you like more of like the conversational wise. Yes. Let us know your thoughts on this season because yeah. honestly, I I yeah. can't even form thoughts. I'm Way so in. like back and forth. I don't know. I I don't know either. And um, we actually will will pair this podcast with a post on mm-hmm. our Instagram. Um, we usually do like a recap of the episode, and we'll post the tier list. Yes, we will. The zodiac signs and the superlative winners. Yes. So definitely make sure you check out our Instagram at meg.abby.wellness. Making sure that I say this like four times yes. to cover up for the two episodes Come on, we guys. didn't mention it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. Yes, we love you and we appreciate you. We do. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.